Hello to all of you. Uh, today we are going to discuss the Greek orders. Uh, there are three distinct orders in ancient Greek architecture, which is Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. So the these three orders are arrangement of Greek architecture, grandiose and attractive, associated with philosophical and political humanistic value. Uniquely proportion and detail. This Greek orders, this three Greek order is Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Capitals are used to determine the types of order. So, each is these orders are distinguished by its proportion, characteristics, profile, and details, and most uniquely recognized by types of column employed. And uh, these three orders of architectures. Uh, the Doric, uh, Ionic, and Corinthians originated in Greece. Uh, this classical orders of uh, orders of a building is akin to the modes of key of classical music, the grammar and rhetoric of a written composition. It is established by certain modules like intervals of music, and it raises the certain expectation in audience attain to its language. Whereas these orders were essentially structural in ancient Greek architecture, which made little use of art until its period. But and later, the Roman architectures where the arch was often dominant. In order to become an increasingly decorative element expected to Porticos and similar uses, columns ranks to half columns, emerging from walls, turn into pilasters. So, this is three uh, Greek orders. Uh, Doric is oldest and simplest uh, among these three orders. Prefer this, uh, uh, this was perfected during 5th century BC, developed in western Dorian regions of Greece. It represents strength and masculinity. And this uh, this is Ionic order. This is elegant scroll type of capitals. Capital six, uh, this is where developed in 6th century BC. Originated in Ionia. Femina, this is feminine characters. Corinthian order. Most equisite and decorated of these three order. These were developed in 4th century BC. Not used much by the Greek named after the city of Corinthians, created to present our maiden. So these are the uh, various part, uh, this, this uh, part of, this is Greek uh, order, this is Ionic order, and this one is Corinthian order. These are the various uh, uh, architectural features and nomenclatures of this order. So, this uh, one is called a drum and this is called a trellix, architraves, abacus, anchors and nothings. This one is called gabbles. The So please go through the details and pause this video for a moment. So you can see the nomenclatures of each orders so so let's come to the very interesting features of greek orders uh, greek architecture is uh, optical corrections optical corrections refer to the implications of some of the mathematical proportions in constructions of the structure which is known as golden proportion. The ideal of the proportion that was used by ancient greek architects in design temples was not simple so mathematical progressions using square modules. So you can see, uh, you can clearly see uh, the uh, the center is a little bit upper from this side orders. So that uh, uh, in views you can see all these three orders in one straight lines. So this is basically uh, they were basically created an illusion, illusion so that the buildings are uh, structures looks perfectly these are the sum of the optical corrections 
techniques in architecture this uh, this is a uh, this is correction uh, this one is corrections by the colors and this one is some of the mathematical proportions uh, adopted by greek architecture so that buildings look looks perfectly in proportions and other things this is These are the you can uh, you can clearly see the south Nisa is lower west high and top is little bit low. So okay, so corrections of apparent proportions from. Uh, and inscriptions to use the face of antiques of a temples at Prine. The color effect on proportions X, the metaphors and nose wall being black. The column appears straightiers and at at and uh, architraves, triglyphs and cornices have importance. Why? With the reversed, with the reversed colorings the column appear thinner and higher and the intablatures loses its importance and c1 is the this is the uh, the this one uh, this one techniques is using is uh, in parthenon inclination of columns and intablatures parallel straight lines having convex curves on either sides appear wider apart in the center and this one is the J, the parallel uh, parallel straight lines having concave curves on either sides appear close together in the center. So these were the optical correction techniques used by Greek uh, architectures.